Some breaking Cowboys free agency news today is made possible by True Classic. Up to 25% off on polos just like this one. When you go to trueclassic.com slash chat sports, tell you more about them later on in today's show. As Tony Pollard is the first notable Cowboys, really any Cowboys player, to leave in free agency. He is getting a surprisingly large deal with the Titans going back home. Of course, he went to Memphis, so home in air quotes, I suppose. Three years, $24 million as Pollard is going to pair up with Tajay Spears in Tennessee. And now Dallas has a very, very large hole in the running back room with the loss of Tony Pollard. As he will now leave, it leaves Dallas with maybe Rico Dowdle ends up returning. Maybe some other free agents we will get to later on in today's show. But I want your immediate gut reaction right now. What is your one word reaction to the signing? Tony Pollard leaving Tennessee for the, for the amount of money that he is getting. One word and one word only. Go ahead and sound off for me in the comment section of today's show. This is where the running back depth chart currently sits. Knowing things can and will change maybe in the not-too-distant future. Rico Dowdle, who is a free agent still. Deuce Vaughn, Malik Davis, Hunter Lipke as a fullback, running back, hybrid, etc. Snoop Connor, who had signed to a futures deal as well. Dallas has lost their number one running back in free agency, and now running back, which is already viewed as a big need, is still a pretty darn large big need. Pollard had 1,000 yards last season. Didn't feel like that, though. And I think this contract tells us two things, biggest of which is this. The NFL, or at least Tennessee, did not blame Pollard for the lack of a ground game in Dallas. And I think that was also true on the film. Yes, Pollard could have done more, and you wanted more, and that's why I'm not paying, and this is overall why I'm not, I didn't want to pay him $8 million. But the Cowboys' offensive line and their scheme did not do a very good job. He did not, they did not play well. They did not perform well. All of those things were issues across the board. And Pollard getting three years, $24 million, does stand out to me as a, as a notable deal, a bigger deal than what I thought he was going to get on the open market. And I think if things had been close, he would have come back to Dallas. I think that is, A, probably longer on the years, and probably several million dollars more per year than what the Cowboys were prepared to pay Tony Pollard. So you'll get a comp pick back for him, or at least a comp pick cancellation, whatever, and I think you will sign a cheaper back. We'll go into some replacements later on in today's video, but I would not anticipate the Cowboys paying that. They were never going to pay Tony Pollard $8 million. I am a bit surprised that they paid him that much, or the Titans did. Clearly the biggest of the contracts that the Cowboys gave out, or the Titans were going to give out to Pollard. They won the bidding war, so to speak. As I sit here looking, Diana Reseed reporting, the Giants, Vikings, and Cowboys were also all in on Pollard. He took the money from Tennessee. We will have more Cowboys free agency videos for you right here on the channel, so make sure you guys are subscribed. We'll have more news on maybe a signing or two, probably not today, but we'll have updates for you. YouTube.com slash at Cowboys TV. We'll stick with the first five names on here, and then we'll come back to the other names. This list will change, and it might even change before you get to the video whenever you watch it today. The Cowboys, are, I think, are going to sign an outside free agent back. I would be surprised if they didn't. Jarek McKinnon of the Chiefs fits the third down back mold, and what the Cowboys can do is go out and sign a veteran scat back, a speedier back, for a shorter deal that's much cheaper than Tony Pollard, probably half the per year figure at most, maybe a little bit less. Uh, we'll revisit Derrick Henry later on, I, I promise you. I think Antonio Gibson is a name to monitor. Cheap, also from Memphis, would be kind of funny replacing one Memphis back with, with another one. 
allows them to go out and potentially acquire a, a impact piece from that perspective uh, who can offer you more than he offered in the commanders if he learns to not fumble. Clyde Edwards layers a third down back. And maybe someone like Devin Singletary or Zach Moss finds their market not to be as strong. And they only get, you know, a couple million, $4 million, somewhere in that range. I think that might be doable for Dallas. More names to come, including Derrick Henry, since he's no longer going to go back to Tennessee, clearly. But first, today's show is made possible by True Classic. I'm a big fan of what True Classic offers. Uh, not just myself, but my dad and my father-in-law. It's my go-to gift for them for Father's Day, Christmas, birthdays as well. Because there is something that fits for them, that makes them look good and feel good. Even though, I mean, my dad is skinnier than I am. My uh, father-in-law is a little bit bigger than I am. And it fits them both perfectly. Polos, shorts, uh, T-shirts. The thing I like most about True Classic is their shirts are made to accentuate the places the eye, the eye goes first. Tighter in the arms and chest, but a little bit more forgiving in the, uh, in the belly when you maybe have a beer be gut like I do to a certain extent. The best part is True Classic sells their premium products in packs to help you save. Get started with the two or three pack today and feel the difference for yourself. For a limited time only, get 25% off when you shop now at trueclassic.com slash trueclassic. Whatever you choose, you guys can't go wrong. In fact, all their clothing can be mixed and matched and designed to work with your lifestyle so you can look and feel your best each and every day. True Classic is so committed to their products, they have a 100% perfect fit guarantee and easy returns. So if you want to upgrade your closet, shop now at trueclassic.com slash chatsports and save up to 25% off your order. That's trueclassic.com slash chatsports. Link will be in the comment section and the description of today's video. So Tony Pollard is going to Tennessee on a three-year, $24 million deal. Of note, and we'll go to some other names that the Cowboys could pursue, but the big one, of course, is Derrick Henry. And I am very curious what the market ends up looking like for Derrick Henry. He cl clearly wasn't going to get $8 million from Tennessee, or maybe he wants more than that. But either way, I think they wanted to go younger and more explosive. The highest paid running back market is a little bit murky right now. Two guys have signed to add to this list. They are now sixth and seventh. It is DeAndre Swift and Tony Pollard, both making $8 million per year. So B. John Robinson, Joe Mixon off the list right now. But unsigned are Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs, and Derrick Henry. We will eventually go back to that top 10 uh, uh, free agent running back list for the other five names. But I intentionally did not have Josh Jacobs or Derrick Henry or Saquon Barkley on that list because I don't think they're in the price range for Dallas. Maybe Derrick Henry could be. If Derrick Henry does not have a strong market, maybe he will wait. And maybe, at that point, if you get him down to the five, six, maybe million dollar per year range on a one or two year deal, maybe then it could make some sense for Dallas. But back to Tony Pollard. Three years, 24 million. I don't have a... Uh, detail yet on the guaranteed money i'm gonna guess similar to swift probably around 15 million dollars would you have done that signing why for yes and for no go ahead and sound off for me in the comment section right now i would not i i would not have paid tony pollard eight million dollars a year if you could have gotten him at four or five different conversation two years ten i'd, I'd i would have had interest there 324 you know, not, not so much uh, on, on that front. I don't think that would have been a, fee, uh, a, a good use of, A, the way I want to spend money, and certainly the way the Cowboys want to spend money. That's not how they want to operate in, in general. I don't think it would have made any sense there. So we went through earlier five names, the first of the other 10 names on that list uh, that could be potential replacements for the Dallas Cowboys. Let, let's go back to that top 10 running backs list, not even top 10, but 10 names that would make sense for Dallas. As we sit here filming, nobody has gone off that list at this stage. The other five names, 
Now, my suspicion, and it's a suspicion, is that Dallas wants the speedier, you know, third down ish ish back to be a free agent. So I think Gibson makes so much sense. And they'll draft a, a guy that'll be their power back to, you know, handle some of the workload in the, in the draft. James Conner, he might cost like four or five million dollars. That's really intriguing to me. J.K. Dobbins might be a decent buy low option. He'd be very inexpensive, but the medicals are a huge concern there. Deonta Foreman, I thought, played well when the Bears gave him playing time. A.J. Dillon is a buy low candidate trying to be a better impact piece. You know, moving forward, he's, I don't want to pay him big money either. Alexander Madison got cut. He would not impact the Cowboys' precious comp pick formula. I would love to get Zach Moss or Devin Singletary if Saquon Barkley ends up going there or whatever. I think Gibson is a very feasible piece. But Dallas had a price tag for their running back room. They weren't going to pay power at $8 million. I would not have either. I am sure there will be other moves that come in the next 24, 48, 72 hours. That I went, man, that's it. I wish the Cowboys would have done that. Paying Tony Pollard three years, $24 million, it's not the type of move I would have made. And I, I am actually a bit surprised he got that much money on the open market. So in the end, best of luck to Tony Pollard, and the Cowboys will be able to find a cheaper running back who shouldn't result in that big of a drop-off in production, if a drop-off at all. 